Alright, yo, what's up guys, it's me, Spiderman1 here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And now, in today's video, as you can tell by the title of the series, we're going back to Planet Coaster. Uh, no, sadly, I'm not going to be playing on... Where was it? The freaking... Uh unknown name the theme park that I was making on the channel instead uh, today we're gonna be starting a brand new series on the channel which is gonna be mostly centered around me going through every single one of these career modes in planet coaster and trying to get three stars on each of them now this is my keyboard I'm sorry if you can hear that. I got a different one, so now it's not as clicky anymore. But as you can tell, today we're gonna be playing on Pirate Battle. I do already have three stars on it, as you can clearly see right here. And instead, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting a new scenario, and we're gonna be playing through each and every single one of these, including Creature Awakens, Pirate Cove, Pirate Battle, Great Tree, Silversmith Manor, Good Golly Miss Molly, which I really want to try to get three stars on. And then we're going to be getting into these medium difficulty ones. I think that this episode should probably only be like an hour, if I had to guess. And then Creature Awakens, probably only an hour. And Pirate Cove might be two hours. It depends on all how hard the challenges are because I can always zoom through the challenges or speed up time and do whatever. But so today we're gonna be starting a new scenario on Pirate Battle and we're gonna be playing the Pirate Battle uh, one and I'm basically gonna go through all of them, show you how I would get three stars on each of them. And before uh, things really go down, I will tell you that I do have two different packs in this game. I think I have the Spooky Pack and the Carnival Pack. Um, actually, I have no clue which packs I have. I'm gonna go into Steam on my laptop because I'm recording on my laptop. We're gonna go on to Planet Coaster. And we're gonna go on to DLC manage we have the adventure pack we have the magnificent rides collection pack we have the classic rides collection pack and we have the spooky pack and the only one that i do not currently have is the ghostbusters pack uh the vintage pack the world fair pack and as well as like monsters construction whatever the hell this is back to the future construction night rider construction whatever all that stuff is and i don't even have the quick draw interactive shooter shooter ride which is free on planet coaster i don't even have that installed so but anyways, as you can tell, we're on Planet Coaster. We have $5,000. The game's kind of laggy, and we're on medium settings. So what I might just do is go into settings, graphics. Uh, we're going to go on to custom, texture quality, or let's just go on to low. We're going to apply that. We're going to go OK. We're going to resume. Um, like, as you can tell, the game, it doesn't look, like, horrible. It's just the only problem is, is that it's going to be kind of uh, glitchy at some points. Like, as you can tell, like, this is kind of glitchy. Like, I don't remember what settings I used to play on. Apparently, the last time that I loaded into this, it was on low. If I change this to high, why can I not? I can. 
It's just, if I'm staring towards this stuff, then it's not going to be at a solid 60 frames per second, which... This is why I want to get my own custom computer, to be honest with you. This is really why I want to. So then I don't have to run this game at, like, low settings. Which... Yeah, we only have a 750. That's why I want to, like, upgrade my computer. Anyways, you know what? We're just going to have to deal with it. And the parks that basically make my computer run like shit whenever I get to them... You know what? They make my computer run like crap. Um, but anyways, how long are we into this? We're five minutes into this and we haven't even placed a single ride or checked the objectives. Which, um, as you can see, we need to attract 800 guests, build two ri uh, build four rides, all together, attract 900 people, or 1,000 people together, and have a balance over 15k. So, to get started right into this, um, I think what I'm gonna do, actually, I think this is where I mostly did most of my stuff on the original one. And I still think that's how it's gonna be. And I think it means by like build rides, it just means this stuff. So I just need to build four of these. Which as you can tell, we can probably pretty much build whichever rides here. Which I think a drop tower is gonna be probably the best ride that we can add right now. And I'm going to continue with this uh, pirate slash, I guess, castle theme with these rides. So I think I'm going to build a drop tower, which if I mostly look towards here, then that's just because I want to get like a solid, decent like frame rate. And I think where I'm going to place this is, I guess, maybe right about here but yeah hold on just for a second um if i go onto coasters um we obviously have the steel vengeance thing we have this and i think the only reason why we have this launch vector looping shuttle coaster uh swinging and swinging mine ride is because we have those three things the spinning coaster might actually be a part of that i just don't remember but anyways I think I'm gonna put a drop tower right across from wherever the main coaster is so right about here and we're actually and what I'm actually gonna do in this is we're actually gonna theme things too um, I'm gonna place entrance right here I'll place the exit over here and so 679 uh can you build off of this no you cannot not like coasters which before i didn't realize that you could build off of uh currently existing rides i had no clue like per se if i go on to this uh coaster right here I didn't know that you could... Is that the same thing? No, it's not. Can I change this? It's already changed to that. Never mind. Um, I didn't know. Here, per se, if I go on to... Sorry, if I go on to the monster. I didn't know that... Before you, or never mind, not edit this track. Start building on station grid. Which, my computer is now lagging up a storm. But I didn't realize that if you did this, then. Okay, can I just. 
Okay, just show castle wall. Um, I didn't know that it would start up a grid around the station exactly where it would go. I didn't friggin' know that. So this entire time that I've been trying to build stuff in friggin' Planet Coaster, I had no idea that you could friggin' do that from the start. And I know it sounds like I'm probably an idiot for not being able to realize that. Which, yeah, you can call me an idiot. I don't really care. But I just realized that now. Which sounds very stupid, but you know what? It's whatever. And we're just gonna put this path kind of like a zigzag. So then I can... How close are we? Okay, we're not that close. We're... I mean, we're kind of close. I'm gonna put this... And then we're gonna zero this out here. Put that like that. And then, as far as the exit path goes... Which is the main exit path over here? That. Whatever. We're just gonna keep this the same. Uh, 16. I think that this is the smallest that you can put it. But yeah, I had no clue that you could do that from, like, the entire time that I was playing this game. Until quite recently, actually. Which sounds kind of funny, but I didn't know that until quite recently. And so, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, like, a castle-type thing around this. Which, I'm gonna have to, uh, angle snap to 15. That's not... Okay, that's not... Friggin' straight on with this, is it? I think that's fine. I might want to move this, actually. Hold on. Um. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... So we're gonna put two. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't mean to delete that wall. But yeah, we're gonna attract tons of people to this park, as you can tell. Um. I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to put this down here. And how many over was that? Two. And we're just going to do this. Just for now, just to get a, a basic rundown of where things are. And I'm going to press done. We're going to put advanced move. Where is it? It's right here. We're gonna advance move this bitch to right here. And then I'm gonna go back and edit this building by deleting these two, deleting those two, deleting, not that, deleting this, and deleting that. And, um,. We're going to put some sort of octagonal wall here. Which sounds quite cool, to be honest with you. If I could fit that here. Or I could do it like that, and then make it... You know what? I'll make it like that. And then on these upper spots change it to basically like I'm gonna have this like this oops we're gonna have this like this and if it this this exit I don't know why I can't oh it's because it's shift select 
uh, duplicate selection. We're going to put this here. We're going to duplicate it. Only if I could place it here. Fuck. That's fine. Is that fine? I don't know that that's fine, actually. Obviously, I'm going to put this... Huh. Maybe I'm not thinking this through correctly. Maybe what I should do... Is make it so that this thing, in particular... Is surrounded by it. So... What I'm gonna do... Is we're gonna go here. Press E. This... We're gonna shift select these four. Uh, place this here. Duplicate. Place this here. Duplicate. How far away is this? One, two. Er. It's technically three away, so one, two, three. Er, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. So, one, two, three. Actually, you know what? Technically, I don't even need to do this. I'm just going to do a basic theme. You know what? I'm going to save theming stuff for later on into this game. Or we're just going to put my generic theme of scenery and stuff like that. There were no things. So, so, what type of trees do we want? Why is it only like beech trees and stuff? That's not what I meant to do. Um, Kabuka tree. No. What the hell is this? Do I even have that? Short palm tree. Dead palm tree. Swamp tree. I don't even have the thing that they're freaking using over there. We're just gonna add... Like, and I might as well mention this. After I do these things, or after I do these parks and stuff, I will show you my, like, original park of what I did on this game to get the original three stars. Because as you can tell, um... Or have the original three stars. So we have $53. Or 53. We're going to change this to 14. Okay. We're almost about to get that friggin' advanced one. By doing a monthly profit of $5,000. And for some reason people are stuck. Um... I don't like those bushes. You know what? That's fine. We'll add a few of these every so often. And what I was also thinking of doing on this game once I actually got a new computer of some sort was basically creating up a Bronze Star. Eight guests. And I think I'm about to get that $5,000 thing. Which, there's the Bronze Star. Uh, we need to build two more. 
Or maybe we have to have a balance above 5,000 at the point of where we get to that many guests. And as far as what we're going to put next... Too many guests are trying to use beef. Chief beef. This chief beef? There's too many people trying to use it. There's like... Not very many people. Um... If I do... Fast forward time. Gold objective complete. Wait, so now if I... Per se... I just fast forward time there, by the way. Um... If now, per se... I spend money, per se, by building... Let's say another ride. Whether... I built this thing. I don't know. Or maybe we'll build the insanity. Because all that I need to do is just build five of these friggin' things. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. How did I accidentally. Oh, you can press like. Oh, you can press, like, the number keys and stuff to get that to pop up. I'm gonna put this this way. Uh, we're gonna put this right here. Uh, we're gonna place the entrance right over here. And then we're gonna place the exit right here. Silver. We're gonna go through this pretty fast. Uh, as you can tell, we went underneath uh, 15,000, which means I might actually end up recording the second part after this, which I was going to play Five Nights at Freddy's after this, which you might have already seen that video before this one. Depends on if I have anything to record or not. Um, we're gonna change that to wooden, too. We're gonna build this. We're gonna build this. That, like that. Two, three, like that. Like this. And, even though I probably don't need that much, we're gonna open up this. Um, we have that. Many guests are thirsty. Oh no. We gotta do something about that. So what I'm gonna do for two seconds is we're gonna build a very generic looking building for good old stuffs. Um, we're gonna do this, this, this 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 and I'm gonna put this here this here this here this here and this here or never mind I don't need those oops and we're just basically gonna make like a three cell thing basically so we'll have two things here and I guess since we can only have a one meter tall roof there, we'll do that. And then what we will do. I don't think that there's really any passive type roofs. So what we can do is do one, two, three, three, go back to balls. Find something that is leather. Looks very weird. Why does that look so weird? I don't know why this looks so weird like that. Why did that look so dumb? 
like... Oh, no it doesn't, what? And we'll have it just go around the entire building. Like so. We will put... Event, shops and facilities. We will put a restroom block. Um, I guess if the only thing that we have is milkshakes, then milkshake. And we'll add a pizza pen. We will press done. We will move this to about. Right here. And is this stuff all open? It is. Nice. And as far as the theme goes, like I said the last time, we don't really have any themes, so we're just gonna put trees and that stuff around our park. That's gonna go right through those trees. That's kind of cool. And then we will duplicate. We will put one here. One here. Um, one here. One here. And one right here. And then I think all that I need to do now is add one more flat ride and that's it. No, we need one more get. Um, here, actually, hold on. What I'm going to do with this instead is we're going to make right through here. We're going to close this. We're going to edit building. We're going to delete this. We're going to delete this. And I think I'm going to make an entrance way for a ride through here. Which means I'm going to... That's what I wanted to do, not that other thing. Um, Control Z this. Ish. Do that, do that. Choose this. Or I could put it up here instead. Which that'll make it look okay. And then we will do shops and facilities. And we'll add our bathroom right there in this motherfucker. And what I'm gonna do, as well, is delete this path. Fuck, well, that's not what I wanted to do whatsoever. Control Z that. Um, we're gonna put a Q path right through here. And we're going to make our last and final ride that we need to get this challenge complete, which we're only 20 or so minutes into this, which we can add whichever one we want. So, you know what, I'm going to add this. And I don't know why, but in the last uh, time that I did this, funny enough, I actually placed a full on fucking coaster. And I swear to you, I probably didn't even need to. I was probably, like, I don't know why I did it. I legitimately couldn't tell you why. But for some odd reason, I decided to add a full-fledged fucking coaster into this park. Even though you don't friggin' need one. You can essentially just wait and jack up some prices for some stuff. And we'll do that. 
And now we have the silver stall. Whoa. Wait, stop trying to freaking place it back. Duplicate. And we will open this ride within, whoops, a matter of a few seconds. Just hold on tight. Because it's going to be a bumpy ride going through here. Anyways, we will finish this last challenge in like two seconds. Um, since I, since I'm sorry for those people who see this and are just like, oh my gosh, can he please add a wall here? Yep. There you go. I added the wall there for you. Um, and I think we just need one more person to enter this friggin' park. And now we wait. Like, legitimately, this is all that you need to do. And... Monthly profit, $3,000. If I really needed to, what I could do... Which, never mind, you don't have to. Um, but if you really wanted to get through this thing a crap ton faster, which, there we go, we got Pirate Battle finished, and that's how you basically get it finished, um, but if you really wanted to get this challenge done stupid fast, all that you need to do is go into marketing, do a campaign, and, um, Maybe do a light night. High impact marketing attracts lots of adult guests, ideal for larger parks. And you could do one of these campaigns to get more teens but fewer adults. You could even do like on online campaign viral video. And you know what? You'd get this bitch freaking finished in like a matter of a few seconds. But yeah, this is our park. As you can tell, we got all three objectives finished. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go on to here. We're going to save park. And we're going to go uh, pirate battle B. two save and now after that is finished we're gonna exit to the main menu and I will show you what I did the last time for I guess uh, completing this park because I might as well show you guys how it differs between the two um, so if we go on to career go on to this that was my original one pirate paddle or and also as you can tell good golly miss molly better pirate cove a uh, pirate cove i don't know why that one was stupid difficult for me but this is the original pirate battle that i did in my own spare time and i thought i might as well do this so then i can show you guys basically what the difference between the two were but here we are so as you can see we added the carousel we added one of these guys and we added the insanity and for some odd reason I decided to add a full-fledged coaster um why I decided to add this coaster I have no clue is it any good I'll show you it right now like I'll show you all the coasters and stuff which this is it this is the coaster that I created I don't know why I created it inside of this park I really didn't have to because one of the challenges was not to create a coaster but 
anyways, this is it. And it launches through it twice. I only added that brake on there because I thought, hey, might as well. I think the second time it goes by it a little bit faster. But obviously what we're going to do doing in the next episode is Creature Awakens. Which, honestly, I feel like playing this game still some more. So you know what? We're going to be doing that. And for some reason I titled this coaster Back to Back. Insanity 7. Which, that's just like the generic names that you get for these things. Nobody wants to go on the carousel, apparently. And this right here is apparently what I did. Added these two guys. Added palm trees around this one. With random guys standing in front of it. We added, like, the generic chief beef thing that you can get. And the cosmic cow milkshake that you can get. And... Also, for some reason, I didn't put a wall in front of this. And I don't think I ever added... Oh, never mind. I added a bathroom. It's right here. But yeah. So I guess we're going to leave this. And yeah. That's basically been this episode of Planet Coaster. This was Pirate Battle. It's basically the most simplest thing that you can do. It's basically just there, so then you can like learn the game and the three stars on it shouldn't really take you that long but anyways so i guess i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have definitely do not forget to leave a like uh definitely comment down below on what else you'd want to see from the channel because you know i'll definitely be able to bring it and also do not forget to subscribe for more to come out into the future and i think i'm gonna record the second episode right now or right after this where we're gonna be doing the good old freaking which one is it creature awakens yep we're gonna be doing creature awakens in a another new park which I think that challenge is a little bit more difficult but anyways I guess I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have definitely do not forget to leave a like and definitely do not forget to subscribe for more to come out into the future but yeah guys I guess it's been me spider-man one here or spider-man one and uh, peace out